Welcome back to the channel. People think you have to spend a lot of money to go camping. We're here today to say everything here under $150, the essentials, let's run through what you absolutely need to go camping with. So we're moving into a new shed next week. Um, and so we're here at the old one, just clearing everything out. And we're going through everything and we're like to ourselves, how could you go camping on a budget? And so we found all these items that we've had in the shed, all for individually less or around $150. And so we need to show you that you don't need the 12 volt, you don't need the setups, you don't need all that jazz. You can just go with a simple setup like this. So let's get into the first one, we'll show you what it is. Rightio, so item number one is the Esky. You need somewhere to put your cold food. You don't want to go on all the way out to Whoop Whoop with your nice steak that's been in the back of the car and you get out there and Not just very cook. Good. Horrible. So I definitely recommend an Esky. We got this one second hand a couple of years ago. It was like a hundred buck off Marketplace. Um, 70 litre, it can fit heaps of stuff in. It can't in the beer, buddy. All your food that you want for a weekend fits in the ute. And honorable mention the stand, because I'm old and he's not. This is way easier to get stuff out of with that stand underneath. So that was about, I don't know, 20 or 30 bucks, but they, to me, they fold into nothing. Stand is a massive essential. Uh, the next essential item is sleeping. You're gonna go camping, you need somewhere to sleep. You can't go past the old swag. Now, we looked this one up. There's a King's one, and at the minute, what was it? You can get a uh, double swag from King's for 150 bucks on sale. Like, it's it's cheap as chips. You roll it out, you don't even have to set it up if you don't want to sleep on top, sleep in it, I don't care. It's just better than sleeping on the ground. It really is, so yeah. item number two is a swag, and that keeps you dry, warm, and uh, somewhere to hide at nighttime when Andy wants to drink more beer. Under 150, this is one of my favorite things. Um, we've actually just recently got this from San Hima. It's a table. Now, I, look how small this table falls down. Let's just set it up quickly for you and show you what this, because um, if you're in a car or maybe a smaller four wheel drive, you probably don't have a heap of room. So something like this is very, very easy to put together. So this sets up super, super easy. Um, legs are, Extendable, so if you are an even ground, you can make these different lengths so it'll sit without rocking too much. But we're on flat ground here today, so not too hard. Do it. Put this in here. There we go. We got a pan underneath. We got a table. And what was that, a minute? And underneath a nice shelf to put pantry items and whatnot in. So that's to me is an essential camping item because um, you want to be able to sit down and eat, have a beer. Um, maybe you've got other stuff you're building around the campsite. It's really good to have a table. Makes life just easier instead of bending up and down all the time. Whack your portable gas cooker on there, whack some food, mm. prep bench. Yeah, to cook on cooking. Too. All that sort of stuff. Lots of stuff. So this one's from San Hema. Um, I just looked on the website, it was like $79-ish, something like that, but there will be a link below to uh, get your own table from San Hema. Rightio, item number three is a barbie. So you've got your esky with your nice steaks in there that you brought out, but you can't cook them, because let's face it, a lot of the places we camp now, you can't have campfires. True. So you're gonna have to bring a barbie. Um, we picked this up, honestly, about a couple of years ago from King's and it was cheap as chips. Haven't used it in a while because we got some other stuff, but like we, we took this on a lot of buddy trips with us. We did, and like we still have it. It's, it's a bit dinged up here and there, but it still works really well. And yep. it's something that, you know, all the 12 volt system in the world, if something happens to that and you've got no power, with this sort of thing, it's never gonna fail unless you run out of gas. No, this is true. But you should have enough gas with you because they don't use much at all. Yep. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would a good campsite be without a chair? Now, full disclosure, San Hema, Vic Off Road have sent us up this um, new chair, and I was like, it's a chair. But this one is actually really comfortable. Um, the bag's pretty sturdy, a couple of handles all around it. However, the really good feature about this one, 
Yeah. Apart from, you know what? I didn't realize. Just grab the bottom of that for me. Ow! Hey, get back. My gun back out. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. All right. I'll just pull the bottom. <laughs> the really good feature about this one, apart from coming with a stubby cooler, which is the most essential item camping, and this is way under 150 bucks. You don't. Now, normally, sit down on that, Anda, and tell me what's different about this chair. Oh. Ooh. Is that? It's like a pivot point on the it. The back hinges. It's sort of thrusting. So it's. <laughs> <laughs> the, back, the back hinges so you can be sitting up eating but then when you've had a few beers and you want to have a snooze yeah. it's actually it's super comfy yeah that's weird that you're doing that though and laughing <laughs> <laughs> no, very good um, and it does come with all the usuals we got pockets in the side for your phones yeah. and knives and forks uh that is officially measured as a stubby cooler holder it does work with a can in it, it's the right size. Oh, very good, very and, good. And um, very easy to fold up. Like some of them you struggle to fold up. This one, it's done. Big tick for me, I actually really like this chair, really do. Um, Obviously, it doesn't have to be this exact same chair. An essential chair item is a camp chair. We just yeah. have had this and it's a new chair that we got, trialing it out. But Ooh. you could go down to bloody Bunnings and get a $5 and that will sort you out for the mm, night. But you want to be like this old fella after dinner, your stomach's yeah, full, full and you just sit there. Living the good uh. life, really. It's pretty bloody good. So yeah, camp chair, a must. Mm. Do you do the rest of the video, Ando? I'm comfy. Ah! <laughs> 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 Righty, oh, next item. <laughs> you need a little bag to put all your stuff in. So obviously you don't want to be going chucking all your knives and forks in the back seat, all your spoons, all your cutlery, paper towels, sauces. You don't want them just sprayed out all over the joint. You want a nice little uh, cargo bag like the one we got here. And that's, that's literally you need. It doesn't have to be whatever brand you want. We got this from San Hemo, works bloody good. You've got some pockets, you've got some uh, dividers in there to carry all your stuff, but that's, and essentially, this is what you need. You just need something, put all your forks, your sauces, your pots, your pans, some plates, some bowls, all that sort of stuff. Just keep it in nice, neat little area so it's not spraying all over the place. I think what I like about these ones, and it's not just the San Hemo ones, but I think what I look for with these sort of bags is the sides are, have to be solid for me. The, the normal canvas ones that are, that are loosey-goosey, you can fit stuff in them, but I think the solid sides that you can put stuff in without, you can put something on top of it that doesn't get crushed as much. Yeah. Okay. And it, it does hold its form a bit better. So if you, just our tip, if you're looking for a, a canvas bag, get one with solid sides. Um, and clearly these are well under 150 bucks and you could probably get two or three or four or five of these. One could be a pantry, one could be your, yeah. Your wet weather gear. 100%. One could be your toiletries. You know, you've got a full stackable option there. And if, for your whole campsite, everything's modular, and you just pull out what you need. Yep. Second last item. The last item is the most important. Am I right? Oh, you. Just wait for the last one. Um, Matt, what do we do with this? Well, in all honesty, this isn't essential, but this is definitely a really nice thing to have. This is just a, a sand mat, so mostly on the beach you put an inland and stuff but it's really nice once you've laid out your swag or when you're getting into your swag you're not getting in with sandy feet and all this sort of stuff so this just rolls out this is like a three by three mat rolls out so you have a little bit of uh stuff in front of your swag Obvi obviously obviously it's not a uh, essential no you don't need to have oh, this oh i don't know being clean in your swags a nice thing to have it's pretty essential to me like a mat because you want to be clean when you get to sleep otherwise you just you feel dirty all night. So it's essential. Mm. Let us know in the comments. What do you reckon? <laughs> is this essential or not? I'm going no. He's going yes. It is. Who wasn't? Who doesn't? Who wants to get in this swag anyway, muddy feet? We got this from Kings years ago. Same thing. But um, if you're picking these up for more than 150 bucks, you don't want to be made out of like satin or something like it that would. because they're not worth that much. It's one of the but they're bloody person to peg them out too. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So camping mat. Last 
the most important bit for us anyway. What do you reckon it is, Ander? Does it rhyme with deer? <laughs> yes, it does. It rhymes with pig's ears. The mm. most important part. Mm. Well, for us anyway. Mm. Right. That's the campsite set up. We got somewhere to sleep, somewhere to cook, somewhere to sit. Somewhere to laugh at. Stubby cooler should be on this. Uh, somewhere to put all our food. We got somewhere for everything. Now we need to put this on our belly. 100%. I could go camping with this and all this on a weekend and have an absolutely cracking time. A ripping time. Don't even worry about lights. You got the fire. Well, you get a torch. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's so, right. Um, but yeah. Well, you got one on your phone. You got a torch in your phone if 100%. you want to. Yeah, you can, make, you can make do. Yep. Simple is better. Sometimes. Most times. Sometimes. Anyway, thank you for watching. We really do hope you've enjoyed this sort of a video. What do they do, Ander? Please like and subscribe. Tell us in the comments if you liked it or not. Um, don't forget about the mat. And hopefully, we'll see you in the next one. We will.